Hi there, it's me again, your Lavanya. We are continuing our discussion on Thiruvarot Payan. We have already completed two chapters out of the ten chapters and we are going to start with the third one. The first chapter spoke about the supreme and the characteristics of the supreme. The second uh, chapter, uh, almost 10 verses, right? We had, we had uh, just concluded that we were discussing about the soul, the nature of the soul. Now, in today, uh, from today onwards, for the next 10 days, we are going to discuss about something called as Irul Mala Nilai, which means what is that one particular thing which is stopping the soul to reach the Almighty. So we are going to talk about that one particular thing or the element which is which is so powerful that it is stopping us in reaching the Almighty or even realizing that there is an Almighty. Let's start with the very first verse in Irul Mala Nilai which is literally translated as what is the characteristics or attributes of the darkness. Now what do we classify as darkness? That is what we are going to talk about from now on. 21st verse as a, a cumulative value as an individualistic one it is the first verse from the third chapter let's look at the verse tundrum pavathuyarum inbum tunai porulum indru enbadu evvarum il it's a lovely verse which makes us think a little bit deeper let's look at something you look at the the vicious cycle that the soul is going through death birth again death again birth so the cycle of rebirth is actually happening as a vicious cycle we are getting into this kind of a whirlpool because of ignorance did we realize that the vicious cycle of birth and death is a sorrow did we realize that no did we realize the reason for our birth and death recycle, the, the cycle that we are going through is because of the darkness? No. Did we realize there is something called as the eternal bliss or the happiness that is there in this world? No. Did we realize there is a way to achieve this bliss? The answer is no. You look at it, there are four areas or the four parts that has been closed permanently from our eyesight from our thought process one is the birth and death uh, uh, re, uh, cycle the next one is what is the reason for our birth and death the third one is the supreme and the fourth one is how to achieve the supreme all four has been blocked from us and what is that which is blocking us that is nothing but arnava malam Arnavam is nothing but ignorance. Ignorance or rather it is one of the darkness that encapsulates this particular soul. 100% it was covering the soul when, you, when we were in Kevala Nilay. Right now to a greater extent it is, it is encapsulating our mind and uh, intellect. If you look at it, if you want to have a simple analogy for this, look at our house. How many different equipments, electrical equipments we are having in our house, right from aircon, refrigerator, TV, microwave, washing machine, um, uh, heaters, you know, we have so many equipments which runs on electricity in our home. And have you ever wondered, how is this electricity coming into our house? There is something called as a switchboard from, from uh, which we are receiving the electricity into our home but originated from the transformer we are getting it the area will have a transformer from there the electricity is taken through a small wire a connection into our house right there is a section called as fuse have you ever seen that if you just remove the fuse every every single equipment in our house will not be functioning because the connectivity is not there if you look at it right from fan light nothing will be operational nothing will be functional why because the electricity supply has been stopped now what is happening with us is there is a fuse which is a connectivity which is actually blocking all these things from us and this fuse 
name is called as anavam ignorance now what we have to do is just remove the fuse it's easy said than done obviously so when you say removing the fuse is it going to be such an easy task no that is where we need the god's grace when you say oh god how do i get out of this how do i realize there is a bliss there is an eternal state and how do i achieve that how do i even start thinking about it that is what a soul must start longing and what blocks that is basically the darkness and what we have to do is realize that there is a darkness that's the first step of success all along it has been a blocker now we have to take that as all the stumbling blocks we have to take it as a stepping stone and we have to start from there that's number 1 that's a first step we have to do imagine if someone comes and says hey please don't talk about god there is no one called as god there is no one called there is nothing called as rebirth there is nothing called as kamma one thing we have to do at that particular situation is please don't go and argue to them please don't go and fight with them instead immediately within your mind just thank god you know why because god has put us in a little bit better position than them to say thank you at least i have started realizing that you are there thank you god don't look down on the others you don't have to do that and that is not your the purpose of your birth is not that not to look down on the others or not to correct others your birth is to correct your own self your birth is to correct and make sure you achieve the path of the almighty so you are not here to be correcting others immediately what you have to do is thank god that's it other than that don't go and argue don't go and fight because one thing you have to remember is shiva means love love even for those people who say there is no shiva that is what saivam teaches us that's a first lesson we need to learn so the moment you say i need to achieve the path of saivam i need to achieve the path of the supreme i need to achieve the path of the almighty the first thing we need to do is just remove all the hatred from our heart that is not needed the second one is always start thanking god for the opportunity that he has given us and the third one is start realizing that is something called as anavam which is actually blocking everything from us our anger our uh, sorrow our guilt uh, whatever we are going through right now is all caused by anavam the moment you realize that you will start rechannelizing your mind towards the almighty and that will be the first step of success i'll come back again with the second verse very soon until then bye bye